<laughs> Moving on to the ever elusive part four here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're back. Yeah, we're That's back. The same. Was I or was I saying in the other ones part three of three or? No, I was saying part three of episode two. So this is yeah, this part. It doesn't four contradict everything. Two. Clearly, we haven't figured this all out yet. We just like talking, and uh, you know, you as a silent listener who can't respond just lets us talk. So. Yeah, we did. We we weren't planning on part four, but mm-hmm. that's what happened. Ran over. Anyways, uh, let's get on to it. Let's try not to keep oh, him too yeah. long. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, Vinny's song describing. Yeah, uh, this week I'm gonna be talking about Toby Keith. Uh, Red Solo Cup or something like that. <laughs> you should know the song. <laughs> I can't remember. I only listen look it to up. It. I'll talk while you look right. it up. <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah, this is something that I didn't know if it was a popular song or not or just a country song because a popular country song, I wouldn't know the title. <laughs> yeah, no, okay. It's Red Solo Cup and it was like number five on iTunes. It was number weird. five. So it is popular, it's popular, even though I'm sure all of our listeners who apparently, according to Vinny, is just my friends. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all of you are are not aware with country songs and the popular country songs, but this is a, a very popular downloaded song. Uh, yeah. So, because that that's the one thing I want to do. I want to keep it to relevant songs. Yeah, this is definitely. I think this is relevant. I think he kind of made it trying to be like sort of a holiday song. But, really? Uh, yeah, but I don't. I don't think so. <laughs> Red Solo Cup. When I hear that, and before we get into it, because this is the, the rare occasion, I guess, where I've never heard this song that you're going to describe. So I'm going to actually be, you know, baited. While you while you describe it, uh, but I would assume Red Solo Cup. That's about like just, and knowing that it's a country song, knowing that it's Toby Keith, I would assume it's just making fun of non-country people. Uh, I don't know. It's almost it's like kind of just about drinking right beer out of red cups. Do country folks drink out of red cups? I didn't realize they did till this. I thought they drank out of jugs. <laughs> well, I'm sure it wasn't that, but you know, I, th- I thought it was just like you know, I read Solo Cups is kind of like a college thing. It's kind of like a you know, like a yeah, I think a I think, younger thing, a hipper thing, and you know, yeah, I think I would I assume th- it'd be like a song where or Toby Keith is like you know, oh you know, those, those liberals, you know, if it was called those liberals, I would have <laughs> the same predisposition as I do with him calling it Red Solo. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's actually kind of uh, Mr. Toby here. He's kind of. Uh, <laughs> Talking about being in college, I don't know. He's talking about how much he enjoys. Did Toby Keith go to college? I don't know, but I want to call him Mr. Toby instead of Mr. Keith because I don't want to. I don't want to call him Mr. All. I want to call him Toby Keith. I don't want to get him confused with Cool Keith. (laughs) Oh, you don't have to worry about that because he's not cool. (laughs) Uh, So this is uh, T. Keith with uh, Red Solo Cups. All right, I'm hitting play right now. There's a lot of banjo in the beginning. Love banjo. Mm-hmm. It's kind of cool. I don't know if Toby Keith did it or someone else, but mm-hmm. I dig the banjo. But now he's kind of rapping, like kind of like Cowboy Troy, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he's like kind of biting Cowboy Troy or if people <laughs> kind of bite people and rip off their styles in country okay. music. But that's what he's doing. He's just, okay. he's kind of rapping about a red solo cup. Okay. How he enjoys it. He's kind of anti Earth. He says they won't decompose until fourteen years. Okay. <laughs> Really researched. Yeah. Um, and, uh, country people rapping just is offensive to me. Yeah, but now he's kind of singing. He's saying he's saying let's have a party with Red Solo Cups. So it's kind of like a it's like a college drinking song, I guess. He's trying to get in that market. <laughs> I noticed there's a lot of a lot of songs about partying right now, and I heard there's like this study that they did that says that like during times of like economic depression. There's more like party songs made and dance songs and more mm-hmm. upbeat songs. Whereas like in the '90s when everything was good, we were listening to like Celine Dion on the radio because we we're trying to like come down. You know? Okay, it's like the same with the uh, movies. I, I know it... in depression times, like movies are always upbeat. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't know. Just, I didn't want to distract you. Go ahead. And no, keep that's all right. <laughs> There's not a whole lot. He's he's just talking about. He says, "Red Solo Cup, I fill you up. Let's have a party." And he says something about if you drink out of glass that you have no testicles, which I <laughs> did. He I say totally testicles, dis- or was yeah, it- he said testicles. <laughs> okay. I completely disagree with because I drink out of glass all the time. Yeah, and I got the cojones. <laughs> okay, well, a little defensive there, Vinny. <laughs> but uh, I was a little offended when I heard that line. <laughs> yeah, I, w- I would be more offended by the the country singer rapping. <laughs> yeah. I know at the Grammys there was a. Uh, 
that somebody, some country singer had, and they had they had just had Ludacris come out, and I thought that was just like really offensive. <laughs> <laughs> He's very heartfelt about this red solo cup. Like, I feel like if you fucked with Toby Keith's solo cup, he might be pissed. Mm-hmm. And he even he even talked. He's like, I don't want any other colors. He's saying I want like red, <laughs> no blue, nothing. Okay. Which I don't know why he's so. He clearly doesn't understand the point of red solo cups, which yeah. is that you're poor. <laughs> exactly. You can't afford glasses for everybody. Exactly. I don't think it's really the color really matters. Right. I guess for country people, red solo cups are just a novelty. Yeah, and and that's that's how I feel about country is that it's it's really all country is making fun of everybody else and <laughs> in an offensive way and you know it's uh yeah. it, I don't go ahead <laughs> yeah I kind of dig the chorus it's like it's like very sing song you know that's what's going on right now it's like very sing song it's like let's have a party I fill you up let's have a party. But I don't. That could happen in like a porn movie too. Like I'll fill you up and we'll have a party. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go Toby Keith's uh, Red Solo Cup is like a porno yeah there's about uh, this kind of like the the end he's kind of falsetto and he's saying Red Solo Cup and <laughs> falsetto which is kind of weird yeah he's, I, don't, I don't know about this outro right the country people they're trying to be more butch right so uh, falsetto is kind of like a eh, he's probably still being offensive he's just insulting and feminine people I guess <laughs> yeah I think uh this song's kind of weird because I thought Toby Keith only sings songs about the troops. <laughs> All, right. All right. Is it done? It's done. All right. There we go. Then let's... So, the the song in review, what do you think? I think... I mean, overall, I guess... I'm kind of a fan of, like, weird kind of country songs. But this one was kind of, like, kind of forced. It's kind of a forced mm. weird song, so... Right. I don't know, but I did like the banjo. I like the chorus. Mm. But he was kind of rapping on the verses, which is weird. Yeah. And there's no drums, which is always kind of a... There's yeah, no drums at all no through the whole song? It's like just banjo. Just banjo, okay. Yeah. <laughs> banjo and lots of singing about Red Solo Cups. Okay. And he rhymed it with I Fill You Up, mm-hmm. which isn't... That's not very good. Oh, it's a hard rhyme. It is, but it's not... I don't know. Yeah. He's Toby Keith. I would have thought he would think of something better than that. Right. I, I'm, not, I'm not a big Toby Keith fan. You just heard from me talking while he was describing it. You know that I have a predisposition against country songs where they just offend me. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not a good person. I guess that'll that'll bring us to our last segment here, which is a new segment to replace uh, Guess Which Number, uh, which you failed. Yeah, it's a punishment it's a- <laughs> that we're talking about just now. Yeah. Uh, and this is This V That, which I think is catchy, but you have to understand that the V has a period, so it's versus. But uh, we were talking about this versus that. doesn't sound as catchy as this be that. Yeah, this versus that kind of sounds kind of Mortal Kombat, like kind of kind of old school. You know? Right. You know, this is this v that because as young people, you should understand that v means versus. Yeah. The, the, the more you shorten, shorten things, the more uh, hip it is. So. Plus, uh, we're a very violent generation. I feel like we should know about verses and v's. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm sure you've heard, the, you know, like v as a versus before. But, uh, you know, here, here's a segment, This V That. This week's This V That is, uh, I'm posing to Vinny, Ghosts V Ghouls. Which do you prefer? Like, Haunting My House, or which I prefer, like, as a fan of? I'm not even going to say. Just Ghosts or Ghouls? I think I'm going to have to go with Ghosts, because Ghouls are kind of sketch. I don't really know exactly. <laughs> what is a ghoul? Exactly. I'm not sure what a ghoul is. It could be like, a ghoul could be like a dude that's alive. <laughs> a ghost isn't going to hurt you, but a ghoul could be like someone you like know. Jeffrey Dahmer? Jeffrey yeah, Dahmer like, was a ghoul? Yeah, like someone. I think a ghoul is more of like a like a zombie kind of thing. Like, it's still like mystical. It's still like undead. It's it's not a ghost. A ghost is like a, a spectral kind of thing, but a, a, a ghoul is more indescribable, which might be scarier. Yeah, maybe it's scary. I think I'm still going to go with ghosts, though. I think ghosts okay. is kind of a common occurrence. People have ghosts in their house, but it doesn't really do anything to them. It's just kind of like, ooh, spooky. <laughs> you know, it's not a it's not a problem on their everyday lives usually. From what I understand, I, right? I don't. Yeah, I don't, ghosts. I don't believe in ghosts at all. So <laughs> all that was just like nonsense to me. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about ghosts. They're pro- maybe they exist. <laughs> I've. I'm not that skeptical about ghosts. People who claim to see them, I'm not. I'm not one to judge. Okay. <laughs> so there you go. This v that. If you want to suggest a this v that for next week, say it in the comments, 
or a song or a commercial or anything, let us know. But that'll do it for this week. Thank you all for listening. Uh, this is Simon. This is Vinny. We're signing off. All right.